All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to some more FIFA 23 Everton career mode. The three games we have ahead of us today is Brentford at home, Chelsea away, and Leeds away in the cup. So this should be a fun video. Apologies for the delay in this one. Of course, I was dealing with the launch of EA Sports PGA Tour, and that's always just gonna be a hectic time with my channel. I've been uploading three videos a day, recording flat out, recording honestly morning till night and just trying to get the best out of the out of the launch window. But we're back with Everton career mode. I don't want to leave this in the dust or anything. We still need to try and qualify for Europe and, of course, try and win a cup this season as well. So we have three, th three tough games ahead of us all in the same week, and we already have a tiring squad. So we might have to rest a few players here against Brentford and see where we go from there. If you want 20% off Rogue Energy, use my code, the Apex Hound. So we're going to have to look into this here now and see about uh, bringing down a few players. Let's see. See, I'm either thinking about just putting Garner in a straight swap and sticking with the 4-4-2 four, four, or uh, going to a 4-4-1-1 four, four, one, one and putting Mohamed, uh, Mohamed Kudus in there. I think that's what we'll do, actually, just because uh, Calvert-Lewin's tired as well, so we might as well give Dom a rest and uh, we'll go with the 4-4-1-2. Four, four, we'll put Kudus in there. We'll put a Wobi uh, left mid or sorry, we'll put a Wobi right mid. Um, Pulisic needs a rest too and we'll put in James Garner ahead of Onana there as well and maybe put in Connor Cody ahead of James Tarkovsky because we have quite a few different tired players I'll put in Mike Go as well at left back and uh, we'll go with this team here um, I'll put Allison on the bench ahead of Dolberg because Dolberg is quite clearly injured and we'll go with this team here now I like that and I think that this could work against Brentford here this is still going to be a very tough game though I think Brentford are in 11th in this league and uh, they're doing a lot better than that in real life. Uh, Brentford are on uh, are on fire in real life as well. Everton just lost to Man United 2-0, unfortunately. Um, you know what? It was a pretty poor performance, to be quite. It was, it was definitely our worst performance under Daesh, I feel like. Um, I, I just felt like the tactics were a little off. It seemed like we were trying to play a high line. I just found it all a bit strange, to be honest. But... Overall, um, can't be too displeased with Sean Dyche's start at Everton at all. He's done really well. He's come in. We've grinded out a few results. And um, I think we're fairly high up there in the form table since he came in. Uh, but yeah, we got a couple of win winnable games coming up now. We have Fulham and uh, I think we have I think we have Palace and we have a couple other winnable games coming up as well. And these are the games that we need to win if we want to stay in this division. It's do or die time 100%. The next four or five games are do or die time. There's only eight games left. So these next four or five games are going to find out whether we're really going to be in the fight come the end of the season like we were last season or if we can uh, maybe escape it a little bit earlier this season. It would be real nice. There's the man that's gone to Chelsea now actually Frank Lampard uh, caretaker manager at Chelsea lost his first game against Wolves which was a shame I was hoping he would uh, he would beat Wolves for us but uh, I'm hoping that he smashes it I have not a bad word to say about Frank Lampard um, done his job when he came here it's already switched the positions of my players he done his job when he came here and you know I, I really don't have a bad word to say about him he he kept us in the division and uh when it looked like we were dead and buried he kept us in the division and then it didn't work out this season it didn't work out for whatever reasons um there's a there's a multitude of reasons that go into it whether his tactics or um not getting the support not getting the right players in um and of course the board as well have just been shocking for for years on end that's led to led to this kind of blow up that we're uh, down near the bottom of the table instead of fighting for Europe like we should be but yeah I, I I can't fault Frank Lampard and I hope he smashes it at Chelsea and does really well and beats all the teams that are around us as well Mohamed Kudus ooh, tries to put it back into the box but not to be Malinha all right come on boys let's get a W to start I haven't played FIFA in a long time so we might be a little bit rusty but it would uh, shake the rust off to get an early goal here and an early win that would be really nice as Paulinho gets taken out that's a free kick ref shit Addison's been done there well uh, there's two points separating the top five teams there that's a little unrealistic what a save from Pickford unbelievable from Jordan Pickford Jesus Lord, but yeah, two points separate, separating the top five teams is quite incredible. And that's why we're bloody, uh, where we are, where are we? We're down in seventh. It feels like we should be higher, but come on, boys, let's go. Oh, tried to slip it in there to Timo Werner, but not to be on this occasion. Come on, Mike, go have him. michael has been kind of swapping positions with Ben Godfrey at the moment. What are you doing, Garner? Why did you like face away from the ball while you took that one? Very strange, I must say. Timo Werner does very well. And he does excellently well to get it through to Dwight McNeil. 
For some reason, my players just, whenever I'm on the counter-attack, I need to, like, see if there's a way to transition quicker in the settings, because every time I'm on the counter-attack, my players just absolutely slow down, rather than, rather than speed up like they should. Oh my god, he's gifted it to Werner! Werner to a Wobie! Kudus, rather, Kudus scores. Werner and Kudus with a beautiful combination, and that's absolutely brilliant. From the mistake of Brentford, they punish him. Brutally. Come on. Look at that. Terrible from Brentford, but brilliant from Everton. And that's 1-0 to the Toffees, baby. Let's have it. Come on. I needed something like that to go my way. I needed something like that to go my way to get those bloody, uh, get those W's in. Let's go. No way he got through there. <gasps> Thank God he's offside. Ooh, thank God. I thought we were in big, big trouble there. Right before half time too. Would have been brutal. Is Michael Enko, Dwight McNeil. Come on, boys. Let's make a goddamn run to get 2-0 before half time. Well, you're not going to do it with control like that, James, are you? But I brought you in, James. I feel like uh, Dice should have brought Garner in from the start as well. Uh, the last game, to be honest. Like, I feel like he should have just brought Di uh, Garner in for Ducore rather than trying to do all this crazy shit and bring Sims in and start Sims. I don't know. It doesn't feel like it was the right game for that, but... I mean, he knows better than me, but still, I just felt like that was the wrong decision there on that occasion, at least. But luckily, he's made a lot more correct decisions than wrong ones so far. Offside, surely. He's onside. Holy shit. Thank God for that, then. I thought for sure he was offside. Haunted. All right, let's keep it as it is for now. Maybe bring off Paulini at some point or maybe go to five at the back or at some point. We do have uh, Tarkovsky on the bench uh, if we need him. We shall see. Right, McNeil finds Werner. Werner, back heel to Kudus. Beautiful play here. Really beautiful play. McNeil finds Werner. This is sensational play. Here's Dwight McNeil. Finds Mohamed Kudus. Oh, he puts it wide. That's poor. That's a huge opportunity to make it 2-0 at the start of the second half. It was absolutely beautiful, intricate play. But Kudus couldn't square it away in the end. That's unfortunate. That's very unfortunate. Oh, terrible pass again from Brentford. They've been sloppy on the passes. That's one of the worst passes I've ever seen. But again, comes right to, to Kudus, to be honest, for, for some strange reason. Can a Wobie get there? No, he can't. Win that, Kudus. Yes, lad. All right, come on. We're all over him here. Let's let's win this thing now. McNeil finds Michael Enko. Michael Enko finds Garner. Beautiful. McNeil saved. Should have taken it on his left foot. Oh, he gives it straight back to a... What, what is happening? Kudus, what is that, lad? Come on. You have to be better than that, man. Wow. Oh, brutal tackle there. That's a foul, ref. Werner finds McNeil. Counter-attack. This is more like it now with the counter-attacking. They're actually making runs. And Kudus runs in behind and he misses again. Mohamed, you have to take these chances, man. What are you doing? You just have to take these chances. You scored once, but man, you've had five shots since and two of them could have been easy goals. Or not even easy goals, but they should have been goals at the very least. Or got him on target. I think you've missed the target with every one of them, to be honest. Incredible. Through the middle for Werner. Can he get on the end of this somehow? Jesus, he's not far away from doing it. Lads, Brentford are all over the shop. We need to take advantage of this, though. Because if they don't... Um if we don't get 2-0 up, they're going to come back. I know it. It's going to finish 1-1 and I'm going to be fuming. Because we are all over them so far. I knew it. I fucking knew it! I just called it! So many chances to make it 2-0. And bang, bang. You get punished like that. It's a great run across the front, to be honest. And Pickford maybe should save it. But uh, so I can't even blame him for that. That's just... That's just... It's just the consequences of our own actions, really, to be honest. We just should have... Should have scored and made it 2-0. So many opportunities to do that. I can't believe it, man. I simply cannot believe it. McNeil has been running the show on this left hand. That's an awful tackle, by the way. Awful tackle. But Werner could be in here, you know. Timo Werner! Why? What is happening? What is actually happening? Why am I missing the target from two yards out? I checked. Time finishing is off. I don't understand. I do not understand what's going on right now. How am I missing the target here, boys? How am I missing the target? <clears throat> all right. All right, all right, all right. I might actually bring off Paulinia because he's on a yellow card. I don't want to risk it. And I'm going to bring on... 
uh, Timothy Way a right mid and put a Wobie in the center. I might even bring on Onana for a Wobie, actually. So we'll bring out both of them. And uh, we'll go with that. More of a straight swap. Calvert Lewin, I'm going to bring on for Werner as well. Um, just change the front two because I've had some problems. I mean, they linked up work well for the first goal, but had a couple of silly misses. And we'll bring on Pulisic. A little bit of a, a four substitutions here. So big changes, but I want to try and win this game. So making the a draw wouldn't be acceptable considering how uh, how much we've really dominated this game in, the, in terms of chances. Godfrey. Godfrey finds Michael Anko. Michael Anko finds Garner. Garner finds Calvert Lewin. First touch of the game. Dominic Calvert Lewin. Why would you hit that with your left? You fucking donkey. Honestly, I just can't understand some of these shots today. Oh my God. How are we not winning this game? How are we not winning this game? I just don't understand it. I truly don't understand it. Calvert Lewin, if he hits that with his right foot first time, it was a goal, by the way. But I mean, just, I cannot, un I can't even fathom how we're not winning this game. That's game, unfortunately. We should have won that thing. We should have won that thing 4 or 5 1, honestly. I just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net ever since the first goal, which was a tap in. Just couldn't finish it, man. Oh, that's so depressing. How many shots did we have? Like, what was our expected goals? It had to be pretty high. 10 shots compared to their 5. It felt like even more, honestly, because our chances were so big as well. It was only 2.5 to 1.7. It felt like a lot more than that. The quality of the chances we had felt like a lot more than that, honestly. But, uh, all right, as to draw on the first match, Mike Galenko is somehow our man of the match in that one. Um, but, yeah, too many missed chances. Too many missed chances and, uh, and another two points gone missing. So, a draw. We move to 37 points. Is it 37 points that we're on? We could do with having 37 points in real life. But uh, we don't even have that in real life uh, after 30 games. So, an, a transfer offer for Vitaly Michalenko for 16.5 million. A Pulisic transfer for, for 99! I'm proud of you, Garner. 99 million. Wait, the transfer window's open, right? Yeah, it is. Holy shit. Guys, I'm going to have to consider both of these, to be honest. Like, 99 million. That's crazy. Brighton and Ove Albion as well. We could actually negotiate and get more than 99 million. How about, like, 105 million? How about that, Brighton? 102 million with that sell-on clause as well, potentially. Come on. That's your final offer. All right, fuck it. You know what? 99 million is a lot. <laughs> we'll take it. I tried to bargain for a little bit more, but uh, not to be. Now, Michael Enko, I don't want to sell him for 16.5 million because it's like fairly similar to what we bought him for, to be honest. So we're not, we wouldn't even really be making a making a profit there. And I want to, to keep the two left backs at the moment as well. So I think I'll, uh, I'll reject that one. But 99 million for Pulisic is just outrageous money. Who are we going to replace him with is the question, though. We would surely want to replace Christian Pulisic, potentially with someone like uh, Harvey Barnes, even. Um, I'd love to sign Martin Odegaard, but I'm not sure that's going to happen. He's uh, got an outrageous price tag on him, I'm sure. 98 million. Well, it's similar to Pulisic. We could probably sign him for the same price that we sold Pulisic for, potentially. But we definitely have to play a CAM every game then, is the thing. We'd have to play 4-4-1-1 every single game. Werner left, Calvert-Lewin up front. Um, and we'd need to sign another winger on top of that as well, I feel like, though. All right, away to Chelsea. There are four points ahead of us. So, you know, if we win this game, we're one point behind sixth. And we could get within three points of Man City if they lose as well, but... Yeah, we need to win this to really keep our European hopes alive. And then we have Leeds in the cup as well. So it's going to be tough no matter what, I feel like. All right. Lukaku. Ziyech. Sterling front three. Interesting. All right. I think I'll go with this, this team here, actually. The 4-4-2. Werner, Calvert-Lewin, Pulisic. All right, boys. Stamford Bridge. Here we go. Let's see if we can get a result at Stamford Bridge. It would be absolutely monumental if we could. Because uh, our Premier League season is slipping away a little bit, unfortunately. We were in the top four for so long, but our results, we just had too many draws and losses in a quick period of time. And you can't do that with these career modes. I feel like people just uh, just shoot up the table. You know, it's, it's crazy. Like the amount of high point um, teams is just insane. All right. Like, you know, there's two points separating the top five, as we saw. Every one of them was on 42 plus points after 21 games, which is just incredible. Um, so that means they're trending, all of them trending towards like nearly getting to 80 points almost. So that's 
pretty insane. Insane indeed. Great tackle on Lukaku. We can't let Lukaku score against us because he'll celebrate like a rat. Cannot let that happen. All right, well done, Eight Nori. Poor pass, but we got away with it. White McNeil does very well. And Werner is looking to do very well here as well. Timo Werner just dashes through. Oh my God, nearly got the whole way through. What just happened? <laughs> what did Mendy do? Mendy thought it was going wide. <laughs> what did I just witness? What did I just witness? Oh my goodness me. <laughs> I thought it was Thiago Silva, but it's Hernandez. Okay. Insane. O own goal. And that's how it's done. Sure. Yeah, we'll take that. I don't care how we score. As long as we score. Timo Werner could be in behind here. No. We're all over him here, though. Come on, let's keep this going. Lulis against his former club. Onana. Poor pass by him. Great tackle, though. Wonderful tackle by Amadou Onana. Just absolutely sensational stuff, really. A chance to whip it in. And a significant Great tackle by Patterson. Trapped him all the way. Really nicely, actually. And Patterson wins that as well. But he doesn't win that one, unfortunately. Somehow it still goes to a Chelsea player, but uh, we're away now. And we're on the counter, too. Go on, Dwight. Go on, lads. Come on. Make a goddamn run, son. Great tackle again by Patterson. He's done really well against Chilwell here. All right, come on, boys. We're still winning this thing. Graham Potter, who's been since been sacked and been replaced by the man that's actually managing my team right now. <laughs> oh, it's a funny old world football, isn't it? And he was replaced, or he replaced, rather, the man that got replaced by the guy that's managing us as well. So that's quite incredible. But Calvert-Lewin could be in here. Good touch. Yes, Dom. Yes, Dom. Dominic Calvert-Lewin makes it 2-0. Come on! What a performance here away to Chelsea. He grabs the camera, shakes it around, and Everton lead 2-0 at Stamford Bridge. An own goal from Chelsea and a beautiful counter-attacking goal from the Toffees there to make it 2-0 before half-time. We still have 10 minutes until half-time. Incredible performance so far. Absolutely brilliant. Well done, boys. Calvert-Lewin does really well. Oh, he does excellently well. It finds Pulisic, who's got time and space to run into. He's going to take him on 1v1. Pulisic hits the crossbar. Oh, my God. Dwight McNeil with a terrible pass. Don't know where he was aiming there. I think he was trying to actually get it to Paulinho, weirdly enough. But uh, still, mega performance so far. We can make this 3-0. Chelsea are all over the place now. That's brilliant play. Is he onside? I think he is. Pulisic, why? You slacker. You muppet, Christian. That's why I'm selling you 100 million. And you're missing shots like that. Brutal. Brutal. Come on, lad. Signing Harvey Barnes to replace you there. He needs an escape route from Leicester. Oh my goodness me. That's a horrendous challenge, Ref. Not even a yellow. Bloody hell. Oh, my Ron Weasley. Bloody hell. But seriously, though. What was that? We are on fire this game, boys. I have to be honest with you. Pulisic. Calvert-Lewin, no. No. Oh, great tackle. Great block. Un insane there. Because we do not want this to go to 2-1 now. Why? Thankfully. Okay, we do not want this to go to 2-1 and be under pressure for the whole second half. I might actually even go defensive, you know. I am going to go defensive. I might bring on... Uh, Cody and go to three at the back. Brilliant. Oh, Dom tried to slip through there. They got Pau Torres. Okay. He's class, that fella. Signed him in career mode before. Good player. But now I'm looking to make a couple of new signings as well. I want to freshen this team up. It seems to have gone stale. I want to freshen things up and, uh, and make sure that we can contend for Europe and win trophies here. Oh, how did that not get through to Pulisic? So I'm going to sell Pulisic. I am going to uh, maybe try and sign Odegaard, sign Harvey Barnes. We'll see how it goes. We need better wingers for sure, because right now our best wingers is uh, McNeil is one of them. I guess I could play Werner as a winger if we sign, uh, if we're only going to play one striker through the middle, like Calvert-Lewin up front and Werner. Um, Werner as a winger, and then we have the option to play two up top with Werner as well, which is always nice. But... Oh, what an interception by James Tarkovsky. 
not very good there. Thank God Pickford was there to, to clean up, though. Jesus Christ. Need to just clear stuff like that. <laughs> well done, Aitnori. Nori. Well done. Go on, Onana! God damn it. Why the hell did uh, did McNeil take a touch like that? We would have been in nearly. Oh, shocking challenge. And now Romelu could be in. Brilliant, Ben! Brilliant, Ben! Not so brilliant, Ben. Jesus Christ, I need to stop doing that. Whenever I win the ball back, I just pass it straight back to the person who I won it off. Like, it's like... Come on. Don't be stupid now. Can he finish here? Good save, Pickford. I don't think that was going in anyway, but good save regardless. Garner for Onana, let's do it. Didn't I change the defensive, actually? Yeah, I did. I think Paulinho has just slipped back to centre-back, which is fine. But uh, I think I'd rather have Cody on there. I'm going to put Allison centre-attacking mid, or just centre-mid as well, actually. <laughs> Probably not a great idea, but whatever. 20 minutes left, let's go. We need to give Allison some game time. Let him flourish. Hold on, Tark. Oh, Werner done so well there. He really did. He took that ball beautifully. And he's on the counter, and Chelsea can't keep up with him. They can't keep up with their former man. Oh, Timo. Shocking effort. That should have been game over. I went for the I went for the cheeky dink. I should have just powered it in there. I would have been able to beat Mendy, I think. Ah, uh, that's a shame. Great tackle, Patterson. Great tackle, mate. Come on. Game, set, match. 2-0 victory versus Chelsea. We get within one point of him here as well. We're back in the hunt for Europe. And Golo Gante can hardly believe it. But you best believe it, son. You best believe it. Come on. We're all going on a European tour. A European tour. A European tour. Dominic Calvert-Lewin is your man of the match here against Chelsea. We just did what we needed to do. We took advantage of that own goal. We got a second one. And we did what we needed to do. We didn't dominate the game or anything, but we uh, we scored the goals, and that's uh, that's all that matters at the end of the day. That's all that matters. Pulisic has been sold for we got eighty eight million out of that. That's quite the budget, I must say. Okay, we'll try and sign someone before Leeds potentially. Okay, let's do it. Christian Pulisic has been sold to Brighton and Hove Albion. We gotta try and get a winger in first though, because we don't really have a. Well, we have Werner, so so. Best possible deed, 134 million. Ah, you know. But I mean, I tried demanding more, but they said no, like three times. I tried asking for three more million and they said no. So what am I supposed to do, man? What am I supposed to do? They put Dobbit in there. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure that's quite what I uh, quite what I intended here. We got a lot of tired players, to be fair. A lot of tired players. So I'll put Way in there for now. I think I do want to make a, a sign a winger, though. First off the bat, before even going and trying to sign. Our budget is 139 million. So if I could sign a winger for like 60, um, I'm, I still don't think I'll have enough for Odegaard, unfortunately. But we'll see. We'll have a look. I'm going to scout Matoma and Evan Ferguson, actually, real quick. Just because I want to have them scouted. I don't think Ferguson's going to have a very high rating. Although he's playing for AC Milan in the game, which is incredible. Do they not even have Tom Cannon in this game? Because I think Tom Cannon's going to be a bit of a star. But no, he ain't in this game. Wow. All right, so I think uh, I think I will try for for Harvey, Bur Harvey Burns. <laughs> Harvey Barnes right off the bat and try and get him in before the next game. Because he seems to be the only winger I can really find that I, uh, that I like that I want to sign. So I'm going to go with that. We're going to try it and um, see if that works out. See if it's a, a match made in heaven. Let's approach to buy. Uh, 69,000? No, thank you. 69 million, rather. 69,000? I would have I would have paid that release clause for sure, but... Okay, Harvey Barnes, 33 million. Let's see. So let's write in off the bat, go for a 35 million offer and see if that's something that suits them. Um, I don't have any players I could give them, I don't feel like. There's no wingers I want to sell. There's no midfielders I want to sell. I mean, I could think about selling Kudus if I'm going to replace him with Odegaard. Um, but... Yeah, I kind of like Kudus at the moment, but I mean, I could do a swap deal in the actual Odegaard deal as well. That, that would make sense if they want Kudus, that is. Let's see. Oh, okay. So let Barnes go. We want 18.5 million. We, okay, so they actually do want Kudus as a part of it. Let's see. Let's try and offer them 15.5 in Kudus and see if they take that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. 15 million and Kudus is a decent deal, I feel like, for this. I think so, anyway. Thank you, Diego. 
appreciate that. And then we, we have all of the rest of the money left over to actually go and sign Odegaard if we want to, you know? Um, or sign, at least sign a, uh, an attacking midfielder to replace Kudus. So we've replaced Pulisic with Barnes, which honestly, it's a little bit of a downgrade, of course. But um, I feel like we're getting a big upgrade on a CAM as well. So I think that it's worth it. I think that it's worth it. I just want to try something new anyway. I wanted to kind of spice the team up a little bit. Let's see if Harvey Barnes wants to be a part of this beautiful football club. Uh, club. Uh, you're going to be a crucial crucial player. Is this your girlfriend, your wife, or just your agent? Uh, release clause of 79.8 million. 80 million re release clause. I mean, you know what? I'll be making a monumental profit if that's there. So sure. 80 million release clause. Sure, why not? And they want 60,543. Yeah, yeah. I'll just take whatever they want and uh, and give it to them. And Frankie Lamps smiles away. Harvey Barnes, love to see it. Love to see it. Little handshake. See you later. God bless. All right. Brand new signing, boys. Harvey, Harvey Barnes has signed for Everton. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, baby. Hold up that shirt, Harvey, lad. Smile for the camera. Harvey Barnes is an Everton player. <sighs> Mohamed Kudu is going the other way. See you later, Mohamed. See on the deal, not terrible. We could have probably pressed him a little bit more, but I wanted to just get him in. Good squad player. Indeed he is. All right, should we go straight for Odegaard? Should I do it? Should I just straight up do it? I need to see how much money we have available to us right now before we go and do anything. 122 million we can spare. 122 million we can spare. Okay. I mean, we could always put that the opposite way a little bit as well, couldn't we? We're going to try it. We're going to try and sign him. No harm in trying. Martin Odegaard, I want you at the club, baby. I want that fellow Norwegian blood. Right off the bat, I'm just going to offer 102 million. He's probably not going to like that, I'd say. But we'll see. Okay, I thought that was going to be a much more difficult. I mean, I guess it is 102 million. But still, I just felt like it was only three million, five million above, above market value. I was not expecting that to go so smooth. <laughs> i got to be honest with you guys. I was expecting that to be a lot more difficult. But his wage is crazy big. Obviously, you're going to be crucial. Um, Four-year contract till you're 30, sure. No release clause, fine with me. Salary, I mean, I I don't know what to offer him. I'm hoping he doesn't, like, storm out or some shit if I give him too low. I'll give him 500,000 signing bonus. Uh, wage of 100,000, 150,000. And then we'll do uh, goals, 10 goals. Another 250k, I guess. Is that okay? Is that reasonable? Okay, yeah, okay. I probably could have done better on this one too, but whatever. <laughs> We've signed Martin fucking Odegaard. I, I can't complain. There we go, look at that. Jordan Pickford welcomes him into the club. That's the biggest signing you'll see, man. That's an absolutely monumental signing there. Huge, 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 huge. You cannot begin to explain how big that is, son. And Odegaard loves it. All right. Up the toffees. Up the toffees. Martin Odegaard, number 18. I think I'll make Harvey Barnes number 18, and I think I'll make Martin Odegaard number 10, because Kudus was 10, wasn't he? Or no, Kudus might have been 18, actually. Who's 10, then? I think Pulisic might have been 10. So I'll make Odegaard 10. Harvey Barnes 18, I think, is the way to go. All right. Martin Odegaard is now officially an Everton player. Uh, you're welcome, Alex. Signed him, because I, I wanted to. He's, he's gone up to a 90 overall. New star player. <laughs> Why did that say Allison 86 there? Said Allison 86. Bad negotiation. Best possible deal. Wow. Yeah, no, I, I overpaid. Okay, I overpaid, but whatever. I overpaid and I got fucking Martin Odegaard. What's, what's the issue? Can't complain about that one, really. Not ideal to be playing him on the right, because he's more of a left winger, but I also feel like... That's a decent amount of money for McNeil. I'll delegate, and I'll say start the offer at 35.5 million. Don't sell the player for less than, than 30. 
I mean, that's probably a deal that's never going to go through anyway. So if I can get 30 million for Dwight McNeil, fair enough. All right, round of 32 against Leeds United. Here we go. What should we go with uh, team-wise? Hmm. What shall we do? Should we put the new boys in right off the bat? I'm going to give Werner a little bit of a rest here. So we'll start Harvey Burn Burns in his correct position. And I'm actually going to play Timothy Weah. Where's Timothy Weah? Oh, I didn't need to put him all the way down there. Um, Werner will have on the bench, of course. I'm going to put Odegaard in from the start. I'm going to put Odegaard and Harvey Barnes in from the start. And we're going to try and give them a go right off the bat. I'm going to put Connor Cody in there ahead of uh, Tarkovsky for a little bit rest. Bit of a rest. And I'm going to put Mike Galenko in there as well. We'll put on the blue kit actually though. Because uh, I think that it'll uh, go up against the, uh, the white of Leeds a little bit better. I wish I could go all blue though. That would be nice. The all blue Everton kit is, uh, is different gravy. I love that. Okay, come on, Toffees, let's get it. Harvey Barnes debut, Martin Odegaard debut. Oh, shit, I forgot to change their numbers. I wonder if it's Harvey, Harvey Barnes number 10 anyway, because I won't mind that too much then if Harvey Barnes is 10 and Odegaard is 18. I'd like to swap them, but uh, I won't complain too much about it. Like, I won't be upset. As long as Harvey Barnes isn't number 13. He's number 20. Okay, I can, I can vibe with that. And, live action to come from and Harvey Barnes taking on his man for the first time at Everton. Gets tackled, but nice positive aggressive start there. Come on, Toffees. We need a win here. Can't go crashing out of the FA Cup. We're still in the Carabao Cup. We're still in a chance with Europe here, but uh, I would love to get a love to get a win here. Get through to the uh, to the last 16. It would be nice. Good save, pick for it. Keep that in. All right, an onslaught here from Leeds early. An absolute onslaught. They've been going short, but luckily this one is easily cleared away. Now, can we actually get out of our own half, though? That's the question. It doesn't seem likely at the moment. But there you go, Ben Godfrey with a beautiful tackle and a terrible pass, though. But Harvey Barnes still nearly gets there. Leeds are all over us, lads. This is bad. Oh, good save, Pickford. Pickford's keeping us in this thing at the moment, just like he did against Man United. Would have been about 9-0 without Pickford. Luckily, it was only 2-0. All right, boys, come on. Yes. Yes, Harvey. Brutal tackle. Come on, that's got to be a yellow. Horrible challenge, man. Harvey Barnes had them both on toast right there. Great tackle by Garner and Paulinha is, uh, is dispossessed right after. Oh, lads, what is going on here? Garner finds Harvey Barnes. Come on, counter attack. God oh, damn it, I can't get past the man at the moment. Just can't get into this game. I can't get into the flow of the game here. Patrick Bamford scores and it was coming. It was coming. Leeds United take a one up lead here. God damn it, man. Incredible, incredible. All right, fair play. Great finish by Bamford there. Oh, it's a great finish. It really is. On his right foot too. Patrick Bamford with a beauty. Fair play to you, Patty. Patty Bamf. Patty, Patty Bamford. Oh, what a piece of control from Harvey Barnes. And he finds Martin Odegaard. Odegaard slips it out wide. Timothy Weah, last chance before the half ends here. Timothy Weah, of course it's intercepted. Of course the pass is intercepted because that feels like everything is going to happen. Every single time it just feels like it's an intercepted pass at the last second, man. Come on. It's a bullshit half of football. For real. That was frustrating as all hell there. Good ball by Garner. Finds Harvey Barnes. Go on, Harvey, lad. Go, Harvey, go with it. Go, Harvey, go with it. Oh, okay. It was worth a go. I mean, I couldn't really score from that angle, but uh, there was I, I ran out of options. Yeah, but Lewin wasn't there anymore. Timothy Weah wins another corner. We're fucked. Fucked, fucked, fucked. Pathetic, 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 pathetic. Weak-minded piss. Pathetic absolutely weak-minded piss garbage shit that was pathetic that was some of the worst defending you'll ever see right there and we're going out of the cup we're going out of the fa cup the carabao cups our last hope boys unfortunately yes michael 
Come on. We're back in this thing. We're back in this thing. We're not dead yet. It will be scores. It will be scores. Came off the bench and scores. It's not over. Come on. Stop celebrating. Let's, let's do this thing. Great tackle by Cody. Get, get out of my way, Connor. Are you fucking messing with me? Is this a sick joke? Like, Mike Galenko was running it. What is that pass? No, no, no. Is this trying to piss me off now? It, it has to be trying. It has to be trying. There's no way I haven't cleared the ball yet. It's absolute. If they score from this attack, I'm going to turn my console off. I'm not even joking you. Oh, my God. <gasps> How did they not get through to him? I thought Allison was going to be through there. I really did, lads. I cannot believe that didn't go through to him. And that's game over, unfortunately. I don't think we could, we're going to get another attack. What the fuck was that? Last chance. Last chance, boys. Come on, Awobi. Let's go. Let's go. No! Fuck. That's game. Fuck's sake, lads. Ah, we're out. God damn it. One draw, one win, one loss in this video, but that's the most heartbreaking one. We're out of the cup. God damn it, man. Just couldn't get anything going that game. Just couldn't get anything going that game. Probably shouldn't have put the two new signings in right off the bat. I just, like, that game was just trash. I, could, I couldn't get anything going at all. Mike Galenko, man of the match again. It feels like every match he plays at the moment, he's man of the match. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. We'll be back in the next video, and hopefully with the, we'll have the new players settling in a little bit. Because uh, I think we have a week off now. All our players can uh, can rest and, and relax and, and kind of get better. And uh, we'll have a full squad going into the game against Nottingham Forest, apart from Dolberg. Uh, McNeil negotiations break down. I'm kind of happy about that. Honestly, I didn't want to, I didn't want to sell him. I would have had to probably replace him if we did sell him. But alas, it's okay. Nottingham Forest at home in the next video. It's transfer deadline day as well, but I'm not going to make any uh, any more signings. We've done what we needed to do. Thank you so much for the support, guys. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. It's been my distinct pleasure to serve you all. Peace out.